Hello and welcome to the Getting Together podcast. My name is Jeremy Brinkerhoff and this is a co-host. The (laughs) co-host? Well, we're co-hosting. Oh, okay. I'm not the, the I'm just a, uh, one of them. Because I'm the other, uh, we're co-hosting yes. the Getting Together podcast right. right here at the porch in downtown Prescott, Montezuma Street, coffee, community, and conversation. It's where everybody's at. Anybody yeah. who's anybody. Oh, all the cool kids. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Does that matter anymore? Cool kids? You know, I Will think it, it does. Will it not matter? I think it still matters. I think you're one of the cool kids in that, that shirt. Yeah. That shirt would have made you one of the cool kids. Oh, yeah. No. You would never have worn that in school. And now, no. as a grown man, yeah. strutting around and yellow shorts. And yellow shorts. As well. If you're going to draw attention, you might as well do it right. Go big or just go home. Speaking of, yes. I'm drawing attention today. To I saved this. I've been saving this for a long time. Oh, that's nice. It is an ode to your stash. Found it in the thrift store. I did wash it and Cloroxed it. But <laughs> that's a very smart. I'm thing. not a hat person, so this no. is out of respect for you. Respect. I don't do this for just anybody. Respect. Because I feel a little like carrot top. For those of you who are over the age of 45, you know who he is. Gallagher. What? Gallagher. Who's that? <laughs> oh, the guy who he was like a comedian, but he would smash fruit. No. And you get in the front. He also had very no idea. poofy hair. Oh, did big, he? I do big. not know who that is. Uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Yes. Okay. Okay. Also lots of hair. Yes. Also lots of... So that's why, you know... Whoo, and today, it's really humid. It is humid. My hair just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It is humid. Um, it's so been humid for like a snap, month. Crackle and Pop on there. You got and Tony the Tony Tiger. Tony the Tiger and uh, Toucan Sam. Toucan Sam. What about now? Are there any new... There's no new serial characters. No, they've all... They've, they've there? all been updated. Right, but there's but nothing there's new. No, there's no I don't new think. character. I mean, because uh, the honeybee from Honey Nut Cheerios. Right, he's, he's still, still around. around. Um, gosh, Wheaties always ones? had like an Olympic Olympics. Yeah. Somebody sporty. So maybe that's changed. Maybe they change. They update them. They're still not using like Michael Jordan. Right, but they're like a Larry new Bird. cereal. I'm trying to think a new cereal coming out that has uh, a cool character. Yeah. Nope. I don't think so. Nope. That's kind of it's weird, isn't it? Sound. Isn't that... I mean... So this was an era. This was like... Oh, this is absolutely an era. Yeah. This is Saturday morning cartoons. Oh, this is... Saturday man, morning stuff. cartoons. Get up, you grab your Frosted Flakes, man. You sit down in front of the Smurfs. I wasn't allowed. And the snorkels. But yes. Right. The Saturday morning cartoons. Tom and Jerry never laughed. Did you ever laugh? I didn't like Tom and Jerry. They're too violent. Yeah, they were I, I didn't. I didn't understand because there was n- neither of them were good, so I didn't know who to root for. <laughs> They're both equally bad. They're awful <laughs> to each other. Oh, the the, <laughs> the dilemmas. Yes. Who do I vote for? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, Wiley Coyote, the Roadrunner. Oh, every time. Never laughed. No. No. Why? I'm trying to think. What cartoon did I laugh at? I don't remember really ever laughing at any of them. Have you watched them recently? No. Like, have you gone back to look at, at old Looney Tunes? No. Okay. So no. you should do that. Because we, we have like an uh, <laughs> anthology. We have this like box set yeah. of Looney Tunes. And oh my gosh. Like there's stuff as a kid that was just funny because it's, you know, bonking over the head right. and explosions right. and whatever. But uh, but going back now, there's some very funny writing. I mean, there's like these little quips, and it's fast. It's fast paced. So I, I always liked Looney Tunes, um, and then even more so as I as I grew up, Animaniacs. Did you ever see that? I think so. Okay, but the the whole thing with each one of those, there's a full orchestra with a brand new <gasps> score every time. Wow. So we're not just talking about some dude on some synthesizer like dit, 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 like. <laughs> the whole shooting match so i i well, love see, that yeah because you're into the editing and the all of the production and the so you if you're gonna do it, respect man, do it that right. right right yeah that but, makes no difference to me then along came ren and stimpy and i do remember ren and stimpy. out the window <laughs> let's just be as gross and then we as we went possibly to can spongebob which i still don't understand some yeah I, yeah I, and the, so my kids don't understand why i don't let them watch 
SpongeBob. Oh. And they think it's like behavior or whatever. I'm like, yeah. no, he's just stupid. Yes. Like, it's just ridiculous. He, he is so like it is celebrated how dumb right. SpongeBob is. I'm like, like raising my children on Teletubbies. Oh. <laughs> but I did. Did you? Uh, oh, absolutely. Oh. We had Boz the Bear in the house. That oh, was uh Boz the Bear. Oh. He was like a Christian green bear <laughs> thing. <laughs> the knockoff. Yeah. The Christian oh, yeah. knockoff. He was the Christian um version Barney. of Barney. He was the Christian Barney. <laughs> Excuse me, that's but, so funny. Oh yeah. gosh, yes. So Boz the Bear, but no. Oh man. Over the years, there have been some good shows that yeah. have had good endings. Okay, yeah. And there's some shows that, and movies that have had not so good endings. Not so good endings. Like you're waiting for years. You're like, how are they going to bring this thing to a close? And then it's like, oh, I was kind of oh, let down. Can I speak to that? Please. Can I say... The hours I want back in my life for watching Lost. And did you watch Lost? I never did. But people uh, were super into it. My, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. We had a, like a whole little community at the coffee shop that I worked at. Yeah. That we, and we would talk about it after every So like the water episode. cooler thing. The oh, whole, whole uh, yeah. We'd get our coffee. We would sit down. I was supposed to be on the clock. <laughs> nice. But because my boss watched it, he was into and we were like, what do you think this means? What do you get? In the beginning, you're like, it's purgatory. It's da, da, da. And then you're like, I don't think these writers know where we're going. <laughs> oh. You know, like, we were lost. Totally lost. And then the ending was just ridiculous. Huh. Horrible. That's a drag. Um, I will share one movie, though, at yeah. the beginning that still, like, when I think about it, it rocks my world. And okay. I don't know if you ever saw it. Cliffhanger. Did you ever see it? Oh With Stallone. <laughs> Do you remember it? Uh, Do okay. you remember it? Tell me Traumatic. why. And then, and then I'll rip you to shreds. But okay. Yes, please First go ahead. First of all, I mean, Stallone. I, he's precious. Okay. Whoever marketed that man did a phenomenal job. Does, because do you need to talk to Cindy? No. No, I okay. don't. <laughs> no, he should not. He should never have. Never. Should he have gone anywhere in Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So there's that. But he did and I think he's precious. Face lifts and tucks and all. Ooh. Okay. So my husband, I can barely get him to the movies unless it's going to be action packed. Like okay. can only see it on the big screen. Yeah. Cliffhanger. Yeah. All right. Within the first what? 5 minutes, the hero still alone. If you haven't seen it, I'm spoiling it for you now. You don't need to see it. He <laughs> drops, <gasps> drops the woman. He drops her. He's supposed Dead. to save her life. She falls to her death. And I was like, <gasps> the whole rest of the movie. I couldn't shake it. I couldn't get over it. Okay. Never had I seen anything like that where the hero fails. Yes. Still to this day, it's like. I, I, it causes me anxiety. Huh. Couldn't really even tell you the rest of the movie. There no, were like there wasn't any rest of the movie. Involved. That's about it. That <laughs> there was, that was, was a it. British guy. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and like ridiculous stunts where he's like right. got one finger on some tiny little yes. thing. And then I can. This is what I'm saying. Come like, on. No, As a I'm man, sorry. you don't I'm think sorry. that's. I don't know. I, no. The scenery was great. <laughs> Uh, but it, oh, I'm just saying that it wasn't an ending, but yes. for me, that was bad. That was bad. It was bad. I would, I, I felt like that was bad. I don't want. Like it should not go that way in a no, movie. I came I here to get away from life. reality. Okay. Yep, I don't yep, need yep, real yep. life. I go to escape. Here. I actually saw that movie in Australia oh. of all places. We were on, on a way youth home trip or? Oh. and with our, our. Light Force Youth Choir. Light Force. Yes. And we went to this theater, and I had never been, like, uh, in the town that I grew up in, it was the little chairs, tight rows, yes. almost like, you know, economy seating yeah. in an airplane. And so we get to this theater, and it was huge. It had the big reclining chairs. We have never seen anything like that. And the screen looked massive, and we're like, this is insane. So then the previews end. Yeah. And honestly, the only reason that we went to Cliffhanger was because it was the only thing showing that we had even heard of. Mm. So we're like, okay, like Stallone, not big, not a big fan, but whatever. Right. So then it opens and the, the side panels actually pull back. 
So like the screen that was already oh. big to us got even bigger. Oh, and w- so like from that. that standpoint, the experience itself yes. was like, dude, that was amazing. Yes. The movie was gosh awful because it was just so like over the top, far fetched. Like I'm, I okay. It's Stallone. It's what he does. This is what he does. But yes. then there was there was one that came out. Oh my gosh, what was it called? Mm. Vertical Limit. Okay, I remember the name. uh, I may have seen it. And still, I mean, like, not a touch of realism to the point where you're, like, I mean, agonizing (laughs) for the next special (laughs) effect that they're going to try to pull off, like, they're really climbing outside of a sound studio. Like, just just pull back the curtain and be like, okay, dude, whatever. (laughs) So, no, I think uh, for me, something good endings mm-hmm. are few and far between yes I would there's agree. a lot of movies uh, even the batman series i love the batman series with See, christian series, bale i just don't think are good but all of them ended like they started out really cool yeah. and like oh this is a good story and yeah. then the end you're like oh so it's just one of those where okay yep sensational here it yeah will. but uh, i think one that sticks out to me is the first movie i, I ever remember like bawling at <gasps> Which was, was uh, Dead Poet Society. Oh, so yeah. So there was something about Sean that. Robert Leonard. Oh, man. He's a brilliant actor. Really good. And, and Robin Williams playing Robin Williams. like a, a nor- like a not right, a, not a, a comedic. comedy. Right, right, right. right. And so the, the end where they all stand at their desks and they're, they're showing their support for him. Yes. And even though it's like heartbreaking and you don't understand like why, like no one. Yes. No one. It, sh- it was not just what happened to him was not just um right. somebody but then, had to take like the still fall. like mm, really mm-hmm. like you're with him like yeah. there's something about that <laughs> yes. so i really appreciated that ending that was a good ending it was a good ending. i'm trying to like think through the um mash did you watch mash i did i watched mash that was that was highly viewed i wasn't allowed to yeah. so i'm trying to remember it must have been after i was married and out of the house at 19. um you know like friends you know, it was, you were at the point where it was time. Right. You're like, it's time. These people you, you are in the, like 45 and they're still living in each other's houses. And it, no, stop. Enough. We, yeah. And that's why I appreciated Seinfeld. Well, for so many reasons. You know, Jerry in his, with his business hat on, he yeah. was like, we've done everything we need to do. We're, we're done. Nine seasons, right. was it? Or seven yeah, or like nine? That. And everyone's like, keep going. He's like, nah, uh, why? We're yeah. done. Brilliant. So many shows should just. Right. Let's just we're call done. It. Mad About You. Loved it. My husband and I. You know, there's no more Friday night shows. Do no. you realize that? No. Because it's it's on demand. Right. I mean, it would be like, you finish work. We would get pizza. It was like an event. Mad About You is on on a Friday night. TGIF. Yes, totally. <laughs> And so that was another one where it was like, mm, you needed like yeah. three seasons ago. Be done. I feel that way about The Office. Like we really enjoyed yeah. The Office. Yeah. And once Steve Carell was gone, it was like, yeah. okay, done. now you're just trying too hard. Right. You know? So. And they and they did, yeah, they did okay. Right. They did okay. But In no, my opinion. It was, it was Steve. My, all about him. Yes. Very, very good. Oh. Incredible cast supporting, but still very much Steve. Yeah. But. I agree. All right. Well, then. So why are we talking about endings, Ray? Why are we talking about endings? And why do I have my ode to the stash hat? Well, all good things must come to an end. Do they, though? Yes. Okay. Like you were just talking about. Maybe there's some times in life where you got to pull the plug before it gets too old. <laughs> Too, okay. too worn out. <clears throat> too stale. Too stale. Mm-hmm. We've interviewed everyone in town. Pretty much. Pretty yeah. much. And so this... This actually will be the last episode of Getting Together. Well, uh, I mean, with and you. And a collective groan. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, great, fine. No, uh, won't a collective be the same. groan was heard throughout the Quad City area. Won't be the same without you. Yes, yes, I'm sure. But we do appreciate all of the people who have watched and shared and liked and the subscriptions. All the people from India. Yes, and, and some now some Ukrainian, Ukrainian friends. Ukrainian friends. So. A it's worldwide podcast. It's been so fun. So, I mean, my dream, and I'm going to let you get in on that dream, was to um, have something that just promoted something that everyone had in common. And for us, it's Prescott. Yeah. We all, I mean, we live here because we love it. Yeah. And um, 
And that's what we had in common when the world felt so polarized. Yes. We could rally around the fact that no matter where we've come from or raised here or whatever, we love Prescott. Absolutely. So that and thankfully, what we started out doing. The world is no longer polarized. Right. And hence, we don't need the podcast. <laughs> that's right. We fixed it. We fixed it. We fixed it all. Yay. So while we we've still want you to get together with whomever <laughs> you need to get together with. That's right. We will still get together occasionally because I, I see you around town. Yes, now that you're a teacher at the church that I work at. Yeah, I see you around town, and so we will still, but we want you to continue to get together. Thank you to the Boys and Girls Club of Northern Arizona for yes. starting us off a year Absolutely. ago yep. with Dancing for the Stars, and now we're finishing with Dancing for the Stars, and um, I'm super grateful for that. Yes, really good. And even even along the way, there's been people who have uh, just invested ideas and time like sean holly uh yes. he's been such a, a, yes, a great mentor, support love, for us yep. and a mentor and um gosh even the fans and they've jesse been letting huge us support. do this jesse here week. at the porch every week hey, I, I don't think we've ever expressed it but uh but when we come in he's got a little placard yes. there and it, it's usually said the world's best podcast yes. so it's so cool to have someone there that is uh just a just a a person who believes and invests in yes. us, allowing us to use a space once a week um, where other people who are paying customers, well, you're, you're a paying customer, <laughs> yeah, uh, who are paying customers sit. And so it's, uh, it's, it's really been a lot of fun and we really appreciate all the community partners that have come alongside yeah. of us through the last year. Mm -hmm. so. It's been great. So you'll see us around town. If you see yep. us, say hi. Yep. And I'm sure we'll be on to the next great thing at some point. Oh, it'll be great. Yeah. There's nothing but up from here. <laughs> say that. You want to say that with a smile? There's nothing but there up from here. There you go. Atta boy. Good. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, with that, we will not see you on the next episode of Getting Together. But we, uh, again, appreciate it so much. Be kind to one another, man. Reach out, say hi to someone on the street, ask their story, get the reason that they're here in Prescott, and you'll be surprised at the things that you hear and the people that you meet. Everybody's got a which story. I think is also a Dr. Seuss book. Yes. Oh, the places oh, you'll go. All the places you'll go. The also you'll a Dr. Seuss quote. Yes. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Oh, is that Dr. Seuss? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Huh. Huh. There you go. All right. Very good. So, thank you and. Adios. Avida Zane. Goodbye. Goodbye.